Welcome everyone to the College Tour. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next half hour, we'll explore what it means to be a student at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. That's right, Ohio. Like many other landmarks in the region, Miami University is named for the Miami Nation, a Native American tribe whose homelands include the southwest corner of the state. Here, Miami University boasts a truly innovative approach to education. Here, students immerse themselves in learning 24-7. From a curriculum that encourages them to combine multiple majors and minors, to a faculty that inspires them to achieve their most ambitious goals, Miami students lay the groundwork for amazing outcomes. Let's meet some students, young alumni, and even a faculty member to hear how Miami has transformed their lives and how they plan to transform the world. Welcome to Miami University. This is the College Tour. Let's get to it. We're gonna meet Hannah. She's a social work major, and she's gonna tell us about all of her favorite traditions and events, and how easy it is to find friendships that last a lifetime. Take it away, Hannah. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my favorite place on Earth. When I started looking at schools, one of the really important things to me was how I would feel being a student there. I wanted a place where people stayed on campus on the weekends, where the student body was alive with history and traditions, and where I could really make my own connection to the place that I would be for the next four years. I've found that here. Campus life is easy because there's always something new. Miami's Activities and Programming Board is incredible at what they do, putting on hundreds of events and programs throughout the academic year, free for students to enjoy. Some of my favorites have been things like gingerbread house competitions, murder mystery dinners, and comedy shows. MAP also has annual events, like Fallen for Goggin, a carnival-style event behind our ice arena, followed by a hockey game, and Spring Fest, where students can gather on the quads, listen to live music, and grab some free food truck dinners. There's also a ton to do in the town of Oxford, one of the best college towns in America. The Oxford Farmer's Market happens every Saturday morning, and I always make sure I grab the coffee drink of the week from our local coffee shop on wheels, and a spinach Havarti croissant from our local artisan pastry shop. I have my own little traditions here at Miami, but the school itself has traditions that have gone way before me. The most important, of course, is this seal. If a student steps on the seal and academic quad, they are cursed to fail their next exam. Students follow this rule so intensely that when it snows in the winter, there is a ring of untouched snow around the seal where students refuse to step. So the only way to reverse the bad luck of the seal is to rub a turtle's head here at the sundial. This guy's name is Rufus and he's my favorite. The turtles have enough good luck to reverse the curse of the seal and allow the student to pass. You'll see Red Hawks walking up to the sundial on their way to class, over to a hockey game, or on their way home for a little peace of mind. And beyond the seal is Upham Arch, where if you kiss your significant other at midnight, you'll be destined to be Miami mergers together forever. It's hard to put into words what it truly feels like to be a Miami University student here on the Oxford campus, but the easiest word that comes to mind is home, and I felt that way ever since my first year move-in date. Robert Frost once called Miami University the most beautiful campus that ever there was, and I can't wait to show it to you one day. Love and honor, and back to you, Alex. Great job, Hannah. Obviously, a place where 98% of students live within a mile of the center of campus creates an amazing energy. And 200 plus years of history makes for some rather interesting traditions. We're so glad you found your home away from home, Hannah. Thanks again for being part of the college tour. Take care. Okay, everyone, let's meet Emil. He's double majoring in business economics and international studies. Within his first two years of college, Emil had already started his own social media marketing business. Let's hear how Miami sparked his entrepreneurial spirit. Emil, you are on. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. I'm the founder of Step Up Social, a student-run marketing firm that manages Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn accounts for various clients. The idea for Step Up started in the back of a coffee shop when I was thinking about what social media looks like for the average small business owner. We wanted to make social media more accessible than the traditional agency model. Useful, affordable, and not incredibly time consuming. Well, who better to do that than the people who've been using social media their entire lives? 
Over the next year, our team spent countless hours developing a framework that maximized value and results on social media. Throughout this process, the university and the Farmer School of Business supported us every step of the way. We were able to build an advisory board of professors with expertise in management, marketing, entrepreneurship, and digital content. In addition, just the feedback we've received from everyone at Miami has been amazing and so important in us developing our vision. I think we've created something truly special here at Miami, a business that combines the experience of leading professors with young people's understanding and love for social media. We help brands develop an intuitive, organic voice on social rather than just advertising content. The connections you find here at Miami are just amazing. The entrepreneurship program put us in touch with the CEOs of so many different venture capital firms and accelerators, giving us the network we needed to break into the startup world. Being both a student and an entrepreneur here at Miami has given me so many amazing experiences. From the first day of class, the freedom was just amazing. There are so many fun on-campus experiences. Honestly, the line between student, professional, and entrepreneur becomes blurred because you're having so much fun. My time here at Miami has helped me become more confident in myself and my goals, and just so grateful for all of the amazing people around me. I can't think of any other place that I would call home. Back to you, Alex. Thank you so much, Emil. It's fascinating how the folks in Miami's Institute for Entrepreneurship helps you turn your idea into a business reality. Miami isn't just preparing you for the real world, it's bringing the real world right into your college education. Good luck in all your business endeavors, Emil, and thanks again for sharing your story. Take care. All right, everyone, let's meet our next student, Lydia. She's a biochemistry major with a co-major in pre-medical studies. For Lydia, bringing diversity, equity, and inclusion into every aspect of student life is a priority. Let's hear how she's leading efforts to diversify Greek life. Take it away, Lydia. Hi, everyone. I chose to attend Miami University for its broad range of academic opportunities and its beautiful campus. My parents are professors at the university, so I grew up attending lectures, concerts, and exhibitions. When I was a first year student here, I knew I wanted to get involved on campus, but I was unsure where to start. I attended Sprite Dates, a get to know sorority event in my freshman year, and then I joined Chi Omega, and I held a leadership position in my sophomore year. This past year, I was elected as Miami University's Panhellenic President, which is the governing body of sororities on campus. I am grateful for encouragement from student leaders that have led me to this point. Empowering those who are underrepresented in Greek life to get involved is really what motivated me to run for office. Up until recently, diversity, equity, and inclusion had not been a priority of Panhellenic associations across the country. As a woman of color, I have made my own journey fighting discrimination to stand up for myself. My personal experience provides me with a strong desire to support other women the way that I am supported by my peers. This is why I am so grateful to be in a position to create positive and meaningful change in the Greek community. So far in my role, I have led the executive board to revisit and reevaluate the Panhellenic bylaws and the recruitment standing rules. We've created scholarship opportunities to lessen the financial burden, and we work in teams to educate and hold our community accountable. Both the Greek and the wider Miami community have embraced our modifications. Our work is far from over, but there are at least 100 cultural and diversity centered groups on campus to fight for inclusion. Miami has prepared me to work in diverse environments with a strong liberal arts education, study abroad opportunities, and programming led by student organizations. This is the foundation that makes me a leader who is confident to advocate for allies, awareness, and acceptance. Although I came to Miami for its beauty and opportunity, I will leave Miami with a growing passion for diversity, equity, and inclusion, and a commitment to empower others. That's my story. Back to Alex. Thank you, Lydia. The work you're doing to elevate the discussion about diversity, equity, and inclusion has never been more important. Miami University is obviously preparing students for more than just jobs. It's preparing future leaders who can tackle the most pressing issues. Well done, Lydia. Take care. Next, we're heading to meet Julian. 
Julian recently graduated from Miami with a bachelor's degree in psychology. He's gonna tell us how joining student organizations helped him meet new people, develop leadership skills, and give back to his community. Over to you, Julian. Thanks, Alex. I'm a recent Miami University grad who's had the opportunity to experience some of the wonderful things the university has to offer. I came to campus after feeling just how much Miami valued students of diverse experiences, and from the first time I walked up to the red brick buildings, I felt a sense of warmth and acceptance that I felt at no other university. This feeling of belonging and inclusion was further solidified through programs and organizations like Bridges, a program for students of diverse experiences, and Miami My Place, a program for first-generation college students. These programs allowed me to form relationships with faculty members and make lifelong friends, all of which truly helped me find my place here. Through university-sponsored resources like Megafair and The Hub, I was able to find other organizations like Four Paws for Ability and Big Brother Big Sister where I could go out to the local community and help children who may possibly come to campus one day. One of my most impactful experiences, however, was when I had the opportunity to join the Miami University Hawks Peer Health Educators. The Hawks are a wonderful group of student employees who are focused on providing their fellow students tips on how to live healthy lives. In the organization, I was able to join like-minded individuals to reach thousands of students, achieving rewarding results and tangible change. I had the opportunity to represent this group at national conferences where I could interact with members from other universities while also gaining important skills like public speaking, networking, program development and facilitation, leadership skills, and so much more. At times when I may have needed an encouraging boost or advice, I had faculty mentors within the organization who were always there to guide and root in my success. This, however, is just one of the endless ways that Miami supports their students outside the classroom. These unique experiences provided by Miami have allowed me to grow as a student, a leader, and a person overall, preparing me for future success in any endeavor. Thank you for listening to my story. So, what's next, Alex? Thank you, Julian. It sounds like your extracurriculars provided that sense of fit that's so important to the college experience. With more than 600 student organizations to choose from, it's easy for Miami students to find their place. The added benefit of gaining leadership skills and giving back is just awesome. Thanks again, Julian, great job. Up next, we're gonna go over to Denali and Jonathan who work together on Miami's Climate Action Task Force. Denali is majoring in engineering with a co-major in environmental science. Jonathan is an associate professor and the director of Miami's Institute for the Environment and Sustainability. Denali and Jonathan, you are both on. Hi everyone. So what is Miami University really all about? It's about providing a liberal education, which means students, staff, and faculty come together to learn, to create new knowledge, to look at problems from different perspectives, to make the world better. Our job is simple, to improve society. That's all, no pressure. I'm the director of the Institute for the Environment and Sustainability. The Institute plays a critical role at Miami, providing research and educational opportunities and professional training to look at environmental issues and make a more sustainable society. In the past couple of years, we've really cranked up our efforts on combating climate change with the goal of making Miami carbon neutral as quickly as we can. This is a huge team effort. As a faculty member and hopefully as a mentor, I provide opportunities to students to exchange ideas, to ask questions, to challenge assumptions, and to become better global citizens. These are values that all faculty at Miami take very seriously, and it all starts with personal interactions. I treasure my time with students, whether in the classroom, on field trips, working on research projects, Providing opportunities like these is what Miami professors try to do to really help students grow and flourish. And now we're joined by a student with whom I work very closely on Miami's Climate Action Task Force, Denali. Why don't you give them a student perspective? Thanks, Dr. Levy. I'd love to. Students and faculty working together stride for stride is a cornerstone of a Miami education. This not only prepares a young generation to make tangible societal change, but also allows for an environment of innovation right here on campus. 
My time working with the Climate Action Task Force has not only deepened my passion for sustainability, but has also allowed me to form great connections and relationships with diverse faculty and students. I learned so much from each and every interaction with these individuals, and I'm so grateful to Miami for fostering this collective environment. My professors work hard to make sure that I'm not only grasping the academic material, but also that I'm developing skills like the ability to think critically, communicate and work on a team, and systematically break down problems. This has made me so much more confident in my ability to join fellow students in addressing the complex challenges our world faces. And now back to you, Alex. Thank you, Denali and Jonathan. It's so inspiring to hear how faculty and students are working together at Miami to make the world a better place. Understanding climate change certainly is a team effort. And it seems like mentorship is a topic that keeps popping up when we hear about Miami University. Denali and Jonathan, you model that ideal very well. Thanks again for that. All right, everyone, let's head over and meet Alex. He's double majoring in architecture and urban planning, writes for the school newspaper, and even works in special collections at the library. Alex will tell us how Miami University makes it possible for him to explore all of his interests. Over to you, Alex. Hey there. I've wanted to study architecture as long as I can remember. My parents still have a piece of paper I filled out in the first grade where I said I wanted to be an architect when I grew up. When it came time for me to pick a school, my brother suggested Miami. He'd heard a lot about it and thought I would like the campus. My trip to Miami was my first college visit and I immediately fell in love. Everything from the beautiful campus to the undergraduate focus grabbed my attention and no other school seemed to have what Miami offered. When I was awarded the Presidential Fellows Scholarship, I withdrew my applications from other schools and signed for Miami's incoming class, and I've never looked back. Miami's liberal arts core, called the Global Miami Plan, paired with my incoming AP credits, allowed me more freedom in my schedule than is possible at most other architecture schools. So much so that I was able to declare a double major in urban planning. Looking forward, I hope to use this dual expertise to create alternative housing solutions, particularly for people on the lower end of the economic spectrum. Beyond core classes, Miami has so many electives that enrich my understanding in both fields. I just completed a summer studio designing exhibits about gentrification in downtown Cincinnati through the Over the Rhine Center, and next semester I'm working with both departments to create an independent study project studying alternative housing types in the EU as I study at Miami's Luxembourg campus. Even outside of the studio and the classroom, Miami offers so many ways for me to pursue multiple interests. I write for our on-campus newspaper, The Miami Student. I've also explored my interest in library sciences through my employment in King Library's Special Collections and University Archives, where I've had the distinct pleasure of working with our librarians and technicians on the proper storage, digital preservation, and repair of priceless manuscripts and volumes. Miami is helping me work towards my goals every day, and my professors and my advisors collaborate to provide me opportunities I never could have imagined. My connections in the library and across campus support me now and prepare me for my future, and I can't wait for my next two years. That's my story. Back to you, Alex. Alex, thank you for taking us through your experiences as a student here at Miami University. It's amazing how your professors collaborate with you to ensure that you're getting the support you need to combine all your interests. That's probably why nearly 60% of Miami students graduate with a minor or a second major. With such wide-ranging skills, you have a very bright future ahead of you. Cheers, Alex. Okay, now it's time to meet Nana. She's a psychology major, and she's gonna tell us about Miami's innovative honors program and all the research opportunities that are available to undergrads. That's right, at Miami, more than 2,800 undergraduate students conduct research each year. Nana, you are on. Thank you, Alex. Hi guys, so first off, I came to Miami because being a first generation college student, I knew finances played a big role in the decision for me. I also knew that being a psychology major, research was gonna have to be part of my college career. Miami offered me a generous amount of scholarship money and also has numerous research opportunities. I simply cannot pass up the offer. Checking the box in my college application to be put in the honors program was a wise decision. 
I've had the opportunity to network with other students in the program, and also being in the program has motivated me to take initiative in my classes and in my extracurricular activities. For example, one of the requirements of being in the honors program is to complete eight honors experiences. This could be through taking honors classes, being in an internship, or being in an exec position. I first took on the challenge of completing honors courses, and though it was not easy, I was motivated by the drive that I have and wanting to do well in those classes. Next, I went in search of an executive board position and was happy to be accepted as the co-modeling director of Miami University Fashion and Design. Each year, we host one of the largest student-run fashion shows in the nation. As I mentioned before, I knew I needed to begin my research, so as freshman year was coming to an end, I found the Social Motives Lab on the Psychology Department website. In the lab, we conduct our research on the long-standing prejudice that black people experience less pain than their white counterparts. This can affect how we receive medical treatment and how we're appraised by our peers in general, and this can be very detrimental to our health. Last school year, I received the DUOS grant to further research in this topic. My topic specifically is race-based likelihood in confrontation and satisfaction, where we're measuring the differences between black people's likelihood to confront in a situation where they've been wronged versus their white counterparts. My goal is for this research to shed more light on the effects of neglecting to acknowledge black people's pain. We hope to present the results in the spring. That sums up what I've been working on here. Over to you, Alex. Great job, Nana. Beginning research your first year of college is such a huge advantage if you're looking to get into top graduate programs. In fact, every spring, Miami hosts the Undergraduate Research Forum where students present their findings, and it's a great way to create new knowledge and build connections in your field. Thanks again, Nana. That was perfect. All right, let's go uptown to meet Sophie, who's gonna tell us why Oxford, Ohio is one of the nation's best college towns. Sophie is a recent graduate who majored in media and culture, creative writing, and strategic communication. She has loved Oxford since she was a little kid. This one's gonna be great. Take it away, Sophie. Thanks, Alex. My entire life, I have loved Miami University. My grandpa was a mathematics professor here for 40 years and still lives just down the street with my grandma. My parents are Miami mergers, which means they both graduated from here and got married. It seemed like Miami would be the obvious choice for me, but it wasn't until I sat down with the chair of the media, journalism, and film department that I was sold on the university. The one thing I was always sure about, however, was the beautiful town of Oxford, Ohio. Oxford is consistently rated by Forbes as one of the best college towns in America. Its charm comes from the brick roads, various shops and restaurants, and the blending of Oxford residents and Miami students. Uptown Oxford is always lively and active, whether it's during a Saturday morning farmer's market or an evening concert in the park. I grew up attending those concerts with my grandparents and even playing in the fountains uptown with my siblings. My family has a lot of history here, just like the town has a deep history. When Ohio legislature chartered Miami University in 1809, it decided to place the state's second public university in a wooded township already designated in 1803 to support education. But first, there needed to be a town in which to place this new university. That would become Oxford. It was laid out in 1810, covering one mile square. Mile Square is now the heart of the town, with student housing, local shops, restaurants, and community spaces. You can enjoy national favorites, as well as local restaurants alike. There's always something going on uptown in the Miami Oxford community, with so much to see and do, like walking miles of beautiful trails or spending an afternoon at the Community Arts Center. Everything you could possibly want is right in town. Oxford is a place that feels like home, and Uptown will be the site of many of your fondest memories while attending school at Miami University. Hey Alex, do you want to meet me Uptown at a restaurant later to share these Mac Bites? Back to you. Sophie, thank you. That was absolutely fantastic. Those Mac Bites look delicious. I'm coming over there when I wrap this up. It's obvious why Miami students consider Oxford their home away from home. It was literally built for students. And today it's one of the most vibrant college towns in the US. Great job, Sophie, take care. Okay, who better to speak about athletics and school spirit than someone who has been both an intercollegiate athlete and a cheerleader? Lexi, also a biology major, will tell us about that Red Hawk school spirit. At Miami University, it's all about the red and white. Go Lexi. Hi everyone, 
I've been involved in sports for as long as I can remember. I've done everything from diving to gymnastics and even track and field. My freshman year, I was on the swim and dive team here, and I would never have imagined myself today in a cheerleading uniform. I came to Miami after falling in love with the gorgeous campus, challenging academics, and inviting atmosphere. The strong athletics were just a plus. After competing my freshman year at the MAC Championships for Swimming and Diving, I decided I wanted to be even more involved. I'm now a second year member on the varsity cheer team, where I cheer on all of Miami's Division I athletic teams. This transition would not have been possible without the support of teammates and flexibility of the athletic department here at Miami University. School spirit at Miami University can be seen all over campus. A little thing we do here is called Wear Red Friday. This is so awesome to get our students and faculty involved and show their school spirit. I am so excited to see everyone wear their favorite Miami gear on campus every week. I can't tell you how exciting it is to be cheered on by fellow students, coaches, professors, and other athletic teams. I love being part of a Division I program that focuses not only on classroom success, but also athletic. Our motto, Graduating Champions, is used here at Miami to motivate our athletes. Although our Red Hawk spirit shines today, there is a rich history and tradition here at Miami University. For decades, Miami graduates have gone on to coach championship teams, collegiate, and professional levels. That's why they call us the cradle of coaches. We've even graduated a Super Bowl winning quarterback, along with NBA, NHL, and Major League Baseball champs. When we say graduating champions, we mean it. By playing sports and cheerleading here, I've learned how amazing it is to surround myself with people who not only want to see me succeed, but also be happy. Yeah! I'm so lucky to have teammates who not only share similar values with me, but also have such a love for their academics, athletics, and Miami University. Hey Alex, where are we going next? Lexi, that was excellent. Your school spirit is absolutely contagious. It's amazing to learn about the rich athletic history that Miami University enjoys. And it's incredible how many great coaches and players begin their athletic success right here in Oxford. The best part for students, they get to see all that success in person free with their student IDs. Thanks again, Lexi. We'll look for you at the next big game. Next, we turn to Amitaj. She's double majoring in political science and emerging technology in business and design. And she has an interesting story about how an advisor in Miami University's Career Center helped her land an internship at a major company. Take it away, Amitaj. Hi, everyone. My favorite part of my Miami journey thus far has been the mentorship and opportunities I've been able to receive. My two mentors on campus are Dr. Christina Caruba wettstein the director of the Ranella Learning Center, and Mr. Michael Turner, my career advisor at Miami's Career Center. Being a woman of color, a first-generation American, and a first-generation college student means there's a lot of imposter syndrome in my life. But through my relationship with these two phenomenal individuals, I am able to rise above that and realize every day that I can do anything I set my mind to. Through the support of Christina, I was able to co-found Miami University's Women of Color and Excellence group. Starting a completely new organization amidst a global pandemic is pretty challenging, but being able to know when to step up as a leader, and more importantly, knowing when to step back and allow others to shine, has set a precedent for leadership and advocacy for the rest of my life. Being empowered is great, but being able to empower others is phenomenal. Speaking of my career, I recently interned for Dominion Energy, and I have one person to thank for this, Mr. Michael Turner. One day, just a few hours before Dominion Energy's application for their Diversity and Energy Conference was due, Mr. Turner sent me an email encouraging me to apply. I thought this was pretty weird. I had never saw myself as a fit for corporate America, but I applied nonetheless because of how well Mr. Turner knew me. After attending this conference, I fell in love with Dominion Energy and learned how to market myself as a professional and ended up scoring a public policy internship with Dominion Energy and am already getting recruited by a top four company for next summer. None of this would have been possible without my mentors here at Miami University who believed in me from day one that I could be in rooms that I never imagined I could be. Miami University has taught me not only to love and honor others, but to love and honor myself. And this is why I am forever grateful to be a Red Hawk. Now, back to you, Alex. 
Great job, Amitaj. Your stories prove how mentorship can make all the difference in the world. And at Miami, they obviously work to ensure that students from all majors get the same level of career preparation. We can't wait to see what you do next, Amitaj. You're an inspiration to first-generation students everywhere. Thanks again for that. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed visiting Miami University. I want to thank everyone who did such a great job telling us their Miami stories. With the opportunities of a major university and a faculty focused on mentorship, Miami truly offers students an amazing college experience. We're out of time for today, but I invite you to go online to learn more about Miami. And hopefully, we'll see you on campus real soon. Cheers, everyone.